inside the room. It hasn't changed. It's Miss Robertson. It's a mess in here, but you're not here with me. And that upsets me so much because I want you to be here with me. I've got the music playing, got the playlist going. I'm ready to do some artwork. And I thought we'd do something while you're at home that we've already done. So you feel really confident in doing it and you'd have a great time. So let's look at what we're gonna do. You're gonna get one of these in your little packet. And it's just gonna tell you how to tessellate. So read it with your parents or with a brother or sister and let them help you cut out the little figure. And you see these, we did these before, so you'll know exactly what they are. But come over here and watch me do it. I cut mine out, just to save some time, I cut mine out just like that, you see? And I know you see that there are holes in there, but you can have mom or dad or sis, if you want to, you don't have to do it. They can come in here and they can poke a hole in there and kind of cut that out if you want to. If you don't, no big deal. Then, you're gonna take your little animal. I got, uh, let's see, I got the elephant. Here we go. I got the elephant, y'all's favorite. I got the really MC Escher lizard. Remember, he was good. The fish, I hope some of you are out fishing. And we got the dog, which was the easiest one. Remember that one? So, we can tessellate with all of these. But let's do it right now. So you'll just get a scrap piece of paper at home. Take your little figure that you have already cut out off the paper. And you're just gonna take markers or you can take a crown or a pencil if you want to. And just lay it in the middle. That's the easiest way to do it. And just lay it down. And you're gonna mark on your little figure just a little bit, but not a big deal. You hear our music? I miss you guys being here at the blue table with me. That blue crew table because we have a good time. So we're just gonna make the most of what we got though, you know? So I'm going around my little elephant. It's not gonna be as easy as the little template you have, but it's gonna be okay. Okay, there's one. Now remember, I've gotta find a place to put him. Where does he fit? Let's see. Let me look. Does he fit there, there, there? Uh-oh, look at that. I found out where he went, okay? Or I can look right in here and see if he goes in here anywhere. Does he go in here anywhere? Not right now. So, let me turn him this way because I see that he fits right there. I'm gonna put him down. And I'm going to go around him again. Okay. I'm gonna stop taping right now so it won't take so long, and then we'll show you what to do after that. All right, so I've um, tessellated all my little elephants. You can see that. Here we start out with this one, and then we figured out how they fit inside of each other, and they don't overlap, and there's no gaps. So if you have a bigger piece of paper, that'd be even better, because then you can really see the elephants. And remember, you can go back in and you can cut out these little things and make their little eyes and nose, but I could also draw them in. So I'm gonna kind of look at mine over here. I'm just gonna kind of draw my eyeball in right here if I want to, and the little part of my ear right there. So we're not gonna get worried about that. That doesn't get us stressed out. So I'm just doing that and I'm going back over that because that's where I drew it. So there's one of the elephants. And I can take my uh, green crown and I can do his eye here. So we don't get freaked out about it. I was using the wrong color though, wasn't it? And then put that in there and then I'm looking at my original template. Remember we call that a template? And that way I can draw those in. So you see it's starting to look more like elephants. So I can do that all over my page. Then you get to have some more fun. Get your old crayons. If they're broken, that's cool. You know, we found out that broken crayons are kind of cool and you can break them. I like breaking crowns. And then peel them. You got a big sister or brother around, they can kind of take the scissors and pull on them a little bit like that to get the uh, peelings off. Well, I'm having trouble with this one. Let me get it. So they can kind of help you do this. And get your peelings off your crowns. These crowns are kind of old, so they're not wanting to come off. That's what, you guys are more experts at this than I am. 
and just peel them off. Don't put them in the floor like we do at school. But I sweep them up, so. And then start taking the side of your crown and adding some color on it. You can have all different colors in here. Now, I know that you remember me telling you about how to make different colors darker if you want to. And let's look at the color wheel over there. Do you remember me telling you that there are complementary colors? The complementary color of yellow is purple, and we said LSU. And the complementary color of red is green, and we thought of Christmas. And the complementary color of orange is blue. And remember I told you to think of Auburn? If I want to make a color darker, let's say green for instance, I just, I've got to add a little bit of red on top of it and then recolor with the green again. So let's look at what I'm doing right now. I want this red in my drawing to be a little bit darker. So what do I need to add on the edges? I need to add a little bit of green because that's the complementary color. So I'm gonna come in here and put a little bit of green on there. And at first it's gonna go, you're gonna go, what, that doesn't look good. I'm just doing a little bit because I want my edges to be a little bit darker because that'll give it a little bit of, uh, let me think of the word I'm looking for, depth maybe. And depth, that means it makes it'll look like it's going down a little bit. Then I come back over with my red again and look what happens. It gets a little bit darker, which is so cool. So experiment a little bit. I wanna see what you come up with and also blending colors. We talked about color families. And that's always fun too. So look, I made that darker on the edges because I didn't have a dark red. So it goes from darker to lighter. That's cool. Now I'm gonna break another crown. And I'm gonna color in my little green elephant here. Man, I wish you were here with me and we were doing this together. And we will be next year. We'll be back together having a great time again in art and learning more things. I'm gonna send you a couple of videos of different things you can do while you're at home. Cause we want you to stay creative and still keep working while you're at home and learning. So tune in once a week and I'll give you some art to do and we'll try to send you a little pack at home when we can. But if you've got crayons and you've got markers, you and I both know you can do a lot of cool things with those. So. I like my elephant. Now, if I get this whole page done, and you know me, I'm never gonna show you one that's totally completed because I want you to come up with your own. Because if you do it just like me, then it's not quite as cool, is it? Look at that. Got my little elephant. I might color his little ears in a little bit. And I keep going, I'm gonna fill up the whole page with my little elephant and I will have tessellated the elephant. Now, I know you know how to do this. So here's what I want you to do. I want you to do one, I want you to complete it, and then I want you to go onto Facebook or even share with someone that they can post it somewhere what you did. And then we'll be able to see it here and all your teachers will be excited to see it. I'll be especially excited to see it because I know you're at home and you're not just sitting around playing videos. You know how I get on to you about that, eating chips. and playing video games. This is not cool. Get out and run, play, do some art, tessellate like MC Escher. I love you guys. Bye.